Now, Wendy and I both work in TV. And one thing you learn when you're on a TV show is that there's lots of words you're not allowed to say. So I thought it would be fun to put those rules to a test with a game I like to call, You Can't Say That on TV. <laughs> And this is how it works, it's gonna be fun. <laughs> NBC has an entire department called Standards and Practices. <laughs> and we have one of those women here right now. Nicole, can you come out here? Let's have a seat. Give it up for Nicole. <laughs> oh, thank you for being here, thank you. So, Nicole's job is to make sure we don't say certain words that are deemed inappropriate for TV. <laughs> if we say one of those words, she has to bleep us. Uh, Wendy, can you give us an example? Exactly. So Wendy and I came up with our own list of words and phrases that sound like they should be bleeped, but could technically pass the bleep test. Nicole will make the decision to bleep or not to bleep by pressing the red button. Whoever gets bleeped the least wins. Are you ready, Wendy? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's do it. I'll go first to the dramatic lighting. <clears throat> I just want you to know that I don't actually swear at all, so I'm gonna be a pro at this. <clears throat> all right, here we go. Fug. No bleep. Frack. No bleep. Swollen bulba. <laughs> no bleep. Really? No bleep? <laughs> bulba. Hmm. Clint Taurus. No bleep. <laughs> Sounds like a dinosaur. <laughs> Vachina. No bleep. Mm-hmm. Mother Plucker. Bleep. Ah! Hand jab. No bleep, though. OK, then. Volvo. Hmm. Can you use that in a sentence? I drive a Volvo to work. OK. No bleep. OK. OK. <clears throat> <clears throat> Bow job. Hmm. Can you use that in a sentence, please? Absolutely. <laughs> I had a bow job during Christmas. I put bows on presents. No bleep. <laughs> Can you use that in a sentence? You need to <laughs> all over my face. <laughs> I'm sorry, I meant place. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Wendy, we're gonna have to bleep that. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. Mm -mm, that's gonna be bleep. Well, what you, okay, I mean, what I mean is when you reach the bottom of a page, it always says, can't. Okay, no bleep. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Sunken lips. Hmm, can you use that in a sentence, please? No, you should definitely bleep that. <laughs> Gushy pussy. Okay, can you use that in a sentence? Okay, I will do that. I fell and skinned my knee, and now it's all gushy pussy. No bleep. Ah! Prim job. <laughs> can you use that one in a sentence? I went to my British tailor and he gave me a proper prim job. <laughs> Fine. Well played. I'll allow well it. played. <clears throat> Teddies. Hmm, can you use that in a sentence? I love playing with big old teddies. <laughs> like at a toy store? Sure. Okay. Oh. No bleep. <laughs> Ash hole. Mm, can you use that one in a sentence? When I smoke a cigarette, I put it out in my ash hole. <laughs> Where else are you going to put it out? <laughs> oh, you know what? Surprisingly, that's OK. OK. Yeah. Loose posse. Can you use that in a sentence? We used to be a tight circle, but now we're a loose posse. That's good. Yeah! That's good. Yeah. yeah. Sucker. Did you just say sucker? Yeah, sucker. 
Yeah, you can't say sucker. That's gonna be a bleep. So. All right, DJ Daniel, who is the winner? It looks like our winner for this evening is Lily Singh. <laughs> professional square. That was You Can't Say It on TV. Everybody, Wendy, get up here. Give it up for Wendy. That was amazing. Thank you for being here. The Goldbergs airs Wednesdays at 8 p.m. on ABC.